name is Jackie. And if you haven't noticed, Karen's not here, but I have a guest host today, which is Angie from Lunchbox Quilts. I'm so excited that you're here. I'm excited Woo! to be a co-host. I'm excited to be a co-host <laughs> today. I hope Karen's having fun on vacation. I know. Hi, Karen. Hi, if Karen. you're watching us. I'm not taking your job. Don't worry. Yeah, no. no. I'm just here today. So, thanks for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. You. So, it's happy hour. It is happy hour. So, I brought you a little present. <gasps> is it a drink? A Bahama Mama? No, we have to stay. We have to stay, like, calm during this, okay? <laughs> speak for yourself. But, I know. Speak for yourself. You have watched this before, yeah, right? I have. So, what do you think about this? Oh, look at that. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. somewhere. It's I purple. <gasps> Sweet! And you quilt it yourself. Nice. I can quilt it. I can quilt it on a Q16. You can quilt it. Bernina. And I will bind it for you. Oh, nice. You She'll bind it. Because you know my four-letter word is hand. I don't like hand work. So, so that's anyway, perfect. That is for you. Oh, thank you. So, And what collection is this off that of? That is from Island Breeze. Nice. So we'll I can think of an island. We'll show some other Island Breeze in nice. a little bit. Nice. I like so. it. Thank you. You're <laughs> welcome. Awesome. I'll have to just put it right here. Yeah. So we can see it the whole time. There we go. Think about the Bahama Mama. Kind of. Yeah. That's know, actually a Mai Tai, but close enough. Maybe. In my mind, it's Bahama Mama. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a Bahama Mama. <laughs> it okay. kind of looks like it. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> she said, be calm. Oh, wait. No, no, we that was the calm. last word to say. To me. That's the last thing well, to say. We have to be me. professional, not calm, professional. Maybe. Hmm, maybe. She might be able to yeah, I might be able to do it. That's why it's happy hour. It's That's fun. right. It's happy hour. You Let's know be me. Happy. Come on. Let's be happy. Anna, it is happy. All so right. a couple announcements. Thanks for joining us. And we have a Facebook Live going on on March 28th, which is the Great Quilting Adventure is our shop hop. So March 28th at 5 o'clock Arizona time. Because you know what happens Sunday, right? It's Sunday. Guess what happens Sundays? The whole world changes. And Arizona stays Except the for same. Us, we never change. Yeah, we don't. That's why we love Arizona. So don't forget, on March 28th at 5 p.m. Arizona time is the Great Quilting Adventure, which if you like our Facebook and all that, you'll get a notification that we're going live that day on it. Um, what else? Are, oh, we're not going to do a Facebook Live in two weeks because we will be at the Arizona um, Quilters Guild show in Mesa. So come see us there. We'll have some really good deals on machines and fabric and all that good stuff. And then you get to see a lot of pretty quilts. Don't you have a quilt in there? I have a quilt in the show. She does. She I have am. a quilt in the show. We'll yeah, pretty good. I remember yeah. that, huh? Actually, we're going to see that in a little <gasps> while, too. Oh, so. you get to yeah. see your quilt. So it's at the Mesa Convention Center. So come visit us there because we will be there Friday and Saturday, the 25th and 26th on it. And Thursday is preview night. It is preview yes. night. So if you... You're privileged to do preview night. Well, you, anybody can. Anyone you just can? have to pay. Oh, well, you have to pay. <laughs> so if you want to drive all the way to Mesa to watch preview night, go for it. We will be there. Yeah. I'll be there. It's a good time to shop because not a lot of people come to preview that night. That is true. And all the good stuff. There yeah. First. Yeah, that is true. So Very true. And then, then really you can come deals. back on Friday if you want to. Buy and then it, Saturday, too. Yeah. 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 Both of them. That's good. And, of course, Bill's Black Bag is coming up the 18th and 19th. So next Friday and Saturday, join us for Bill's Black Bag, which is going to be exciting yep. on it. And then our Sew and Share from, with Ray is on March 27th. So join us. We have a lot coming up in March. And, of course, it's March. I can't believe it's March already. March Madness. It is March Madness. Yeah. And St. Patrick's Day. Do you right. do anything for St. Patrick's Day? Think of drinking. We could drink. On it. So I have a question for you. Okay. I, yeah, we could. <laughs> How did you get all these beads? <laughs> well, you know, it was Mardi Gras last week. <laughs> I'm never going to say mm -hmm. how I got them. But, I don't know. But Jackie could wear that one. Oh, it's a purple sparkly. Look at that, guys. I got a purple star. Now everybody's having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we will. We will turn off. It. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah. But, Mardi Gras was last week. We were gonna wear them, but then we decided it might make a little bit too much noise when we're up yeah. there doing our thing. So well, I'm just I'm proud that you got some beads. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, not very many. <laughs>
<laughs> you said it. I didn't say it. <laughs> on it. On it. Okay. So we got some new fabric. Excellent. So of course, Karen left me. She's like, I got some really awesome fabric for you to show. So we're going to show some fabric. Then we're going to get into your stuff. Because right. you got a really cool display over there. I can't wait to see it. And then she's going to show some of your favorite motion. Right. On it. Right. Yay. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Deep Blue Sea, which is from Studio E. And before I forget, you want to hand? Sure. See, I had to have a tall person help me. Yeah, on it. So this is Deep Blue Sea by Studio E. It's twelve thirty nine a yard, and this is the panel, which is eight twenty six. Where can they find? I know. These? Yeah. <laughs> so since we're doing, we're not doing comments sold for this one. We do it on our website, and all you have to do is go to our happy hour tab, and poof, everything's there. Hang Even on. Angie's Let's stuff. Show the bottom. Right. The bottom so the there. whole collection's there. Again, Karen left me with just her kind of favorite things. So everything will be there. The whole line is on there. So don't forget. And we do have floral, which is on sale this week. So we have some floral specials too, which I'll let you know. So this is Deep Blue Sea by Studio E. And this is 826 for the panel, which is the panel. See, I'm going to teach her really well because I'm going to teach you how to put it under the camera. Are we doing that now? We are. Oh, okay. Look at her. She's folding it nice and neat. We don't do that here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Jackie throws stuff all the time. <laughs> now, is this the same collection? This is the same collection. Same collection, Deep Blue Sea. Yep. I like this one. It's really pretty. So, again, it's $12.39. And there are free patterns for these. I like the octopus. All right, here, if you can show it under the camera. Yeah, let's show that octopus under the camera. We don't have our little. Is that upside down? Yeah, it's current, so it's you're reading it. I'm reading it. There you go. There See, we, we will go. teach I'm Andy, Angie I'm new learning. tricks. Look at that octopus. Look at that. Is he that cool? is cool. And then there's a sea turtle over here. Oh, the turtle. Look at that. Look at that. I like that. It's a nice panel. Uh, you know, this would be a good backing for segue into Lunchbox Quilts Ocean Odyssey. Yeah, exactly. That's a good that would backing. be perfect for that. There you go. All right. There's the next one, little sea turtle same, there. Same, same. Um, yep, just put it under the camera. And okay. Look at that. Look at those little sea turtles. Those so are cute. cute. Yep. Same thing on the other side. So this, is a, this isn't a panel. This is It fabric. is not. It's just a um, yard of fabric. Right, it's a yard. So. For twelve thirty nine, and it's Deep Blue Sea by Studio E. Perfect. And then we have a couple more here Ooh, to show. The sand dollars yep. and the starfish. Yep. Nice. I love the just the pop of the color. On the black. Yep. Yes. Nice. Very good. And this one is also from the same mm -hmm. Deep Blue Sea. Yep. We got some shells here and some seaweed. Looks like a snail. Maybe some coral. Maybe that's coral. Yeah. Yeah. I like nice. the colors. The colors. Good colors. Pop. Yeah. All right. The next one is called Savannah Sunrise. You want to do my honors of my yes, I'm the I'm my the panel. I'm the you're, panel girl. You're the panel girl. This is a panel and it's eight eighty six oh, a panel. This way. Yep. On it. And this is called Savannah Sunrise by Wil Wilhelm Fabrics. There you go. We'll teach her where to go. <laughs> the zebras, lions, elephants. Oh my. On it. Look at those little babies. I lions. know. The oh, little look lion at those. Cubs. Yeah. Cute. Nice. Oh, there's babies on all of them. Yep. It's like a family. Yeah. Cute. Okay. So this is Savannah Sunrise by Wilhelm Fabrics, and she'll put it under. Look at those babies. Aw. You could there. just frame that. You could. It would be okay. beautiful in a frame. If I remember right, one of the patterns for this is a quilt and a pillow. Oh, nice. Yeah, that would be great for a pillow. I'm just showing them all. The elephants? She's, she's already learned. She's good. You're hired. Okay. And there's your, it's just, what's that, a cheetah? Or a... Sure. Okay. <laughs> We're calling it a cheetah. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we have some, you know, fabric to go with it. Zebra stripe. Woohoo! Look at that. Again, it's 1329A yard. Looks and again, to find all the, the whole collection, you can go to our website, which is um, 35thAvenueSovac.com, 
and she will um they'll put it in the comments all you have to do is go to happy hour link and everything's there that's on our happy hour today even all of angie's um patterns um this is a uh, lion i think wouldn't you say i think this is the lion yeah the lion print very nice And that's the what we decided was a cheetah. Yeah, we'll call it a cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a the cheetah print. Woo! <laughs> okay, next one is kind of like a. Is this part of the same? It is. Oh, it's Savannah. Because if you look at the yeah. panel, it had that's it right. on the edge of the panel. That's right. Yeah. Let's get that panel. So yeah. We'll... That's right. See? She's... It coordinates with it. Look at that. Look at that. Yep. At yeah. first, I. Oh, Karen's on. Hi, Karen. Woo! We'll try to do you proud. Just saying. Oh. <laughs> we Don't will worry. do you proud. Don't worry, I'm not taking your job. <laughs> Got it. I'm probably going to be fired <laughs> after today. She's going to owe me a drink. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's like, okay. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Dinner. <laughs> I think that bar over there closed, didn't it? It, it did. Mm, it's at right now. Yeah. I mean, the next one is right as rain. There is no panel. So you can't do the panel. Oh, but this looks like something I like. Uh, These yeah. are reproductions. Sort of. Yes. It's by Henry Glass. It's 1229. Look at that. Kim Deal. Yep. These are good. This, this is, is your Angie, style. This, yeah. is, this is Angie style. Not yeah. lunchbox style. Angie, Angie style. style. So these are by Kim Deal. This mm -hmm. is all the same collection. Yep, right as rain. Henry Glass, twelve twenty nine, a yard. One. Beautiful. That's just beautiful. I love it. And then this one would be a great background. Why well, have some fabric you can buy? Well, I might have to go. After <laughs> <that>. <laughs> right as rain. Henry Glass, twelve twenty nine. Check this one out. Yep. Nice. And the next one coming up, I really like. Even though I'm not a green person, uh -huh. it's kind of a greeny teal. Yeah, it is. I like that. Nice. Beautiful. Huh? I don't think it's Oh, that's better. Is that better? Yeah. Sometimes you have to put your hand under the camera because it. Oh, to make it focus. Yeah. Okay. I'll try to use the hand that doesn't have the broken nails. Okay. Yeah. The good nails. You should have got your nails done. First. I didn't have time who, to yesterday. Who figured, who figured I didn't have time you? to yesterday. Oh, oh man. Lunchbox. All right. The next one is You Grow, Girl. <laughs> you keep laughing about that I one. know, I do. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> it does sound funny, especially just, in Arizona. <laughs> yeah. On it. But it's a bunch of plants. So if you have someone who's a gardener or that. So did I ever tell you I was watching, which you know them. I was watching my friend's house. And she goes, make sure you water my plants. OK. So I'm watering the plants outside. and. And my husband comes over one time and says, why are you watering the fake plants? <laughs> What's that? Yolanda. <laughs> I was like, well, they told me to water their plants. And I didn't know it was. <laughs> OK. So I cleaned their plants. How about that? Okay. I was making sure they were all nice and clean, take the dust out of them. <laughs> I wanted to point out that macrame uh -huh. is like back in now. Is it? Yes, it's making a resurgence. So there you go. Look at you have your macrame pot hangers there. There you go. All right. And this is you grow girl. It's blank quilting. It's twelve eighty nine a yard. These yeah. are really cute. Can you imagine I'm making like an apron or that something like cute. that? That would little be cute. Little garden little tote garden. or something. Yeah, a little garden thing to put the yeah. tools in. Yep. Like a tool tote too. Yep. A little bit bigger print. I believe yeah. that was the same print as the last one, just bigger. Yep. A little different backing. Okay, this one coming up looks like Arizona. Yeah, this is perfect for I Arizona. I like this. I like this. Look at those little polka dots scattered in there. Yeah, that's really that's cute. beautiful. Very little of this particular one left. <gasps> so just FYI, if you want it, you better get it now because Heather said there's very little of this left because like it's the that. best of the line. That is, I would have to say that is the best of the line. Yep. I would have so you have that piece if you want it. Okay. <laughs> Again, it's You Grow Girl by Blank Quilting, and it's twelve seventy nine a yard. And here is in a different colorway. They're kind of blocked out. Yep. And you got your your macrame a little bit in here, and and all kinds of plants. They, they covered everything. They did. All right. Even the fake plants. 
Even the fake ones are in there. <laughs> that Jackie will water them. Yeah, I will water them. <laughs> they will never die. I'm just saying. On it. I never laid that down. On it. All right. Yeah, so she just told yeah I know. Now, now I just told now everyone in the live. world. I know it's live. It's gone into the world wide web. I know. It's like, <laughs> man. It's okay. Hey, if that's the only thing I've done, yeah, you know. Okay, so the next one is Flutter by Banyan Batiks. I'm going to make sure I said that right. Banyan Batiks, 1279 a yard. I love Batiks. I know you do. Yeah, they're awesome. So but look at this. Look at this butterfly. So they're different shades, yeah. And with Batiks, you're going to get all different kinds of colors as you're going through here. Like you'll get a yellow splotch and then there'll be some purple. Look at that. Love it. So if you're into butterflies, which a lot of people are. Awesome. Now is this the same line again? It is the same line, but okay. different, totally different. Yeah, that's because it's fluttered. That's a butterfly just flying all over. Like yeah. we can't even see it. It's just everywhere. So and it's it's showing up on maybe blue, but it's it's a little bit more gray. Yeah, see, it's, it's, a, it's a gray blue. It's yeah. Not well, if blue. you put it, see if you put it next to yeah. that. It's it totally more this, isn't it's that cool? Yeah. Really weird how it it's more this that. color. Yeah. This color is more that color. So this is in the collection too. Nice. All right, Jackie's gonna love this piece. Woo! Purple. Purple. It's purple. These look like some kind of vines or plants growing or something like that that the butterfly would land on. Okay, yep. and like it says, it's fluttered by Banyan Batiks, twelve seventy nine a yard, which is not bad for Batiks. No, that's, that's a good Look price. Look at that. Look at that orange. Yeah, it's like. You could use this in a Halloween quilt too. Mm hmm. Because you know when you cut it up. Yeah, it's just you don't not see as... a butterfly or whatever's yeah. on there. Yep. There's some flowers on it. Yep. All right. The next one's really cute. It's called um, "You Are Loved." Unless hopefully it shows up because it is kind of a little pale, a little, but you gotta be my panel, panel person. Girl. You're loved. It's by Henry Glass. And it's the panel's 826 for the panel. Hang on. Kind of Easter cool. So you know Easter's coming up. Oh, it's this way. Yeah. Easter, great baby quilt. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. It's, it's reading a little pale, but. Yeah. Um, it's it's really pretty. It's very soft. Uh, look at that bunny. I know, isn't it cute? And the lamb with his mom. Aww. Oh, and the baby lamb over here. That's cute. It's a cow. Well, that's a cow. Okay, yeah. well, I'm looking at it from the back. <laughs> What's that down on the bottom? Oh, a, a bird. bird. No, that's that's a lamb. Is it a lamb? It that's looks a like lamb. a cow. Yeah, I think it's a lamb. I think it's a baby lamb. And an alpaca. Alpaca. Mm -hmm. What is it? Or okay, mama, yeah, but put that under the. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, see let's that. see. Uh, let's okay. see what. Okay, there's the. Yeah, I haven't learned yet. She yeah. hasn't learned. Okay. Okay. So this is what. I, what is that, everyone? Oh, I guess it could be a. Now I think it's a cow. Now that I, I think see it's it. a cow. It is a cow. It's a baby cow. Okay, everyone vote. It's let's, a calf. It's a calf. Everybody, everybody vote, vote in. I think it's a calf. Okay, now I'm going to go to the, look at that bunny. And the bunny is precious. Oh, see, they, huh? I think they can see it better now with this than me holding it up. Yeah. And here is the And this is You Are Loved by Henry Glass, 1239 a yard, but this is um, 826 I had lambs panel. when I was a kid. Did you? Yep. I was in the 4-H. See, that's a little bird. You look like look birds. Don't birds. you have birds? I have birds. Yeah. I love birds. And then you got your barn that they all live in. And we're going to close off with the alpaca. Or is it a llama? It's one of them. I don't know, but either way, you got so thrilled. <laughs> Does it, doesn't this spit at you? Yes, I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> all right, so we have to have rabbits. We have to have carrots. Precious. Oh, you know what? Soft. Oh, we have to show that, too. Yeah. Well, we'll show that last. Oh, it doesn't tell you. I was hoping it told you what it was. There <laughs> must be a panel for that. <laughs> there, it's a book. I know, but there must be a panel. Yeah. Well, we'll show it to you in a minute. Yeah, exactly. After we get done discussing what it is. <laughs> what it is. <laughs> so anyway, look at, these are so soft. They are. Yeah. 
so beautiful. Some flowers. Oh, and there's a little and, bunny rabbit. And you know, it's great for Easter, but it doesn't have to be for Easter. People like rabbits all the time. Yeah. Except in their garden. <laughs> that is true. All right. So, so this is the book. It is a um, kit. It's You Are Loved cloth book. It's kit number 3911, and it's $20.99. Isn't that cute? See, I was hoping it says, you know, some bird or said something in there. You are loved in the morning when the sun comes up. You are loved in the seasons change, and spring has come. And it has just all these little things. Aw, that's really cute. The bunnies, lots of bunnies. I had rabbits, too, when I was a kid. But now you have birds and turtles. Birds and turtles. <laughs> I had to switch it up to some smaller animals. Yeah. That is cute. I got the turtle when my kid was three. My kid's 34 now. Wow. I've had that Ricky for a long time. You're going to have that turtle forever. And Jake. Yeah. Oh, you want to see something else as I hit myself in the face? This is a sewing machine cover for your, like your travel machine mm -hmm. or, you know, on it. And or this you, is kit number 3879. It's a vintage camper sewing machine. Or if you buy a new machine and you just want to hide it from your husband, you just put yeah. the cover over it. Well, you make the cover, put it over something in the sewing room, and then switch it out, and no one will ever They'll know. Never know. They'll never know. Never know. Is so see Jackie about a new machine. Then yeah. The cover. Yeah, just change the cover. I've had people do that with trolleys. They never know. They bring their trolley in, and they go out with a new machine. The husbands never know different. Yeah. They don't need to know. Never know. <laughs> so this is twenty two ninety nine for the kit on it. You embroider a name. Get an embroidery machine and embroider, embroider a name. And it has a cat yeah. on it for yeah. your cat lovers. Oh. Oh, man. So far, the lamb is winning. Which I could, you know. I don't know. I water fake plants, so who knows? <laughs> Cat, lamb, on it. <laughs> really, just buy the panel. Yeah, just it's cute. Just get it. That's all that and matters. You can tell your grandkid what it is. <laughs> there you go. And the kid will be confused for the rest of his life. life. So, it's okay. <laughs> Got it. So this one is. I think I'm liking this. You like mm -hmm. flirt, flirt, flirt. I love it because it's red. Yep. It's another. And it's Angie. really it's cute. Another it's Angie. A, look at those hearts. I love it. Can't see it. No. We're getting, so this so is by Moda. I knew it had to be a Moda. And it is and, and twelve forty nine. I'm just gonna see who the people people like to know who the people are. Uh, it just says Moda. Oh wait, it's by Sweet Sweetwater. So if you like the Sweetwater line, this is just another continuation of the Moda Sweetwater line. They all go together. Mm-hmm. Oops. And for some reason, this is on sale. <laughs> it's in our flower collection, so it's 20% off. So normally it's $12.49, and you can buy it for $9.99. Sweet. Sweet, sweet water. Yep, sweet, sweet, sweet water. So that's one. Oh, this is my favorite. Do you think maybe it's on sale because it has hearts? But It's past Valentine's Day. But it is, but it doesn't have to be a Valentine's Day fabric. It's mm. adorable. It is. Can you imagine wearing pants like that? I can see you in pants. Maybe tights. I don't Tight, know. Well, pants. tights, yeah. Tights. I, I would wear tights like that. Yeah. On it. That's so you. Yep. This is me, too. It all goes together, too. All those prints are in these hearts. Yeah. More hearts. Hearts. Black hearts. Are on black hearts? Oh, yeah. gosh. Look at that. Yes. Nice. Love it. This is called Flirt by Moda, $12.49. It's on sale right now for $9.99. I bet the other, you would love this too, I think. Other Angie. There's two, you know, there's two. There's Angie. two Angies. There's Angie that works at 35th Ave. <laughs> she already has some. Oh, you already You're have slacking. it. you Just put it in your Did pile. Did you get it on sale? <laughs> <laughs> so she's hoping Angie got it on sale. The other Angie on it. Okay, so. Are we breaking now? I think we are. I think okay. it's your turn. Let's okay. go into some okay. embroidery. Let's, let's go over here. So we're going to move her over. So just so you guys, let's put you under the camera. Just so you don't get 
Dizzy? Okay. Nice. Okay. We're moving. We are shifting gears. You got to talk a little louder now. Okay. Okay. Hopefully you guys can hear. Are you not coming over here with me? Oh, no, it's all you now. Okay. Whee! <laughs> so we thought we would show you a few of the, little, of the lunchbox patterns, some of the newer ones. You may have seen them already or you may have not seen them already. So we're going to start over here with, I have to figure out which way I'm going. We'll start over here. <laughs> It's like the news person with the green screen. Yeah. <laughs> and they're pointing to the wrong place oh, in yeah. Arizona. <laughs> okay, so this is called Farm Fresh. And um, this one has been very, very popular, very popular. It is just all fat quarter friendly and you're making roosters. It originally was gonna be a lot of farm animals, but the poultry kind of took over and you got your barn and all your things. These blocks are not pieced. They are actually done in the embroidery machine as well. Applique? Applique. Nice. So you are not cutting out little half square triangles and trying to put this together. Bam. All done in your embroidery machine. That's my type of. Yeah, that's your PC. Yeah. Yeah. So this one's called Farm Fresh. This one is called Just Flowers. And this is the one that will be in the show. So um, I'm not sure what category it's in, like other or something, because it's applique. Uh, but it's embroidery applique. So really doesn't isn't fair to go up to the ladies that do the beautiful hand applique oh, yeah. so I'm not quite sure where it's gonna be but it will be there on the 20 whatever 24th 25th well 24th is preview 25th and 26th 24th 25th yeah. 26th. and then oh a, a shout out if you're an AKG member you should sign up to be a volunteer talk if, louder if you if you're an AKG <laughs> member <laughs> sign up to be a volunteer because if you are a volunteer, you will get into the show for free. Woo -woo! Yes. And you have to always wait for your quilt to come out. Like if you're in the show, then you have to wait for your quilt to come out. Well, why don't you volunteer to help take the quilts down? I am. That way your quilts will come out faster. I'm there trying to recruit my son too, but I'm not sure. We didn't get a okie dokie yeah, on that yet. Yeah, yeah. And then this other one is called uh, Just Truckin'. And it has all kinds of things in it. And of course, this truck we like the best because it has the sewing things in it. If you want to do this for a grandson or a husband or a son or somebody that doesn't want these giant cupcake in the back or the snowman, the second file in this collection is trucks without stuff. So there'll be all the trucks and they won't have the stuff in the back. So it'll be a little bit simpler, but you know, maybe a man does not want a giant rooster in the back of there. So those are the big ones. And then we're, we have something to ask you. I'm going to hold them up. Do you want to help you holding? I'll hold the other one up Okay, for you. so this is the one Island Breeze brought it because it was happy hour. And it's the exact same colors except for the background. The black or the kind of bluey green. So we wanted to ask you, and maybe we could put it underneath camera with a close-up. Mm -hmm. What background do you like better? The black or the one that Jackie's holding? So, I'm holding the black. You like the black. I like the black. I made this one first, this one first, no this one first, and then and then um, I made that one. So um, so do you like the black, the dark color or the light color I guess? So we you. will you know chime in and then Angie will let us know. The silent Angie from the back will let us know. All right. And then maybe we could do a close-up. I can do a close-up. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. I like the details on some of the, the, the straws there. and yeah, things. Yeah, the straws and the cherries. And Did you still want me to show these too? Or? Yeah, you can show that. I'm going to do this really quick so okay, they yeah, can do vote. That. So there's the lighter background. And there's your darker background. Black. So tell us what you like better. We just want to know. We're concerned. All right. Like it. And then we just have a few more to show you. Um, these Ooh are la all la. available in the store or online. This is Ooh La La. So again, all our things that we're showing you today is on our website that is under 35thAvenueStoneVac.com and it's under our happy hour. 
So and once this, you click that, it's there. It's there. And this is just a small version. The ooh la la actually is huge and has the Eiffel Tower on it and a lot more different designs. But this is just a small version. So your patterns, you can make a, like just a wall hanging, you right. can make a full size wall quilt. Wall hanging or full size quilt. They all pretty much have the two different sizes and instructions. So you're not just getting designs, you're getting the instructions too. So that's ooh la la. And of course I have birds. So a bird quilt was, is there a bird lady? was in my, maybe I'll get a little closer. What do you think? Yeah, and we'll want to do some close ups on that one definitely. Look at that one. This is called Fancy Feathers. They all have names. Uh, Fly Away Fred, Twins Timmy and Tammy, um, Baby Beepster, that was named after my bird when he was a baby. Um, so let's just uh, do a little close up there. Those are really cute. Aren't those cute? I think that's, I think that's Tammy. That's Tammy. And this is Timmy. That's her twin brother. <laughs> and that's little Lily. Aww. So they all have names. Fun, fun. Do you name them on your pattern? Do they know the names on your, or are you just name? No, they're named on my pattern. Name on yeah. your pattern? Nice. Yeah. When I teach a class, they're like, I'm working on little Lily. And I'm like, cool. Yeah, there you go. Okay, got to get back to your other I'm one. Going my spot. <laughs> oh, back my favorite. To my spot. Um, well, well, maybe. Maybe? What? Well, it depends on if you go to the dog or cat. I'm going to go to the cat. Okay, not my favorite yet. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> well, this one was done first. This is, um, this is uh, Cat's Meow. Still remains really one of cute. my favorites. Yep, Do you know what my all-time most best-selling one is? No. With cats. It ties with cats a lot. About trout. Oh, okay. I, yeah, yeah, I can see that. So no, because it's something they can do for their husbands and right. sons and all right. that. There's not a lot out there for that. Right. And then um, this is just a sampling, but the other cats, there's more cats than this. And on this one, we have twins Toby and Tootsie. So how do you get, like, line all this up, like your farm fresh and all that? We're going to talk about marker oh, blocks. Oh, man. All right. Yes, yes. we'll talk That's about really marker cool. blocks. That's how you get your blocks nice and straight. So this is Cat's Meow. And then this yeah. is mixed mutts. How cute. Just a that. sampling. There's more dogs on the original pattern. Um, and there's no twins on this one because these are mixed mutts. If you do not see your dog, you are to go to the uh, shelter and buy one that looks like this. I agree. Might not be blue, but you know, you can get a brown one that looks like that. Exactly. So they are all named too, but there's no twins on this because we don't know where the other part of their family is. Gotcha. So, so anyway, that is... You know, Christmas isn't that far away. Don't you have Christmas styles of those? I Christmas? do. I have holiday hounds and I have Christmas cats. Nice. So if you like the cats and dogs thing and you want to do a holiday one, that is available too. So I think we're done over here. All right. Do you want to explain what the market block yes. is? Okay. Do you want me to do it over here or over well, there? Explain what you're going to show them. Okay. So when you have to line these things up, you always cut your blocks bigger than they're supposed to be. So if you were going to embroider, I would have cut this block 12 and a half by 12 and a half. But now you need to, after you pull off the stabilizer, after you press it from the back, you're going to have, you know, your block might be a little wonky. So you should, you, um, have to, you have to cut them down so they're nice and square. Well, you can do it, but you have to figure out the same distance between here and 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 here. So it's centered within this block. But there's a product what? that will make your life easier. All right. So, Are we going to show that product? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Well, we're switching again. All right, here we go. Here we go. All the little squeaky sounds now. Okay. That's, that's the mouse. That's the mouse. <laughs> so. All right. We had a lighting change for this. Hmm? All right, so this is just, I'm, I'm going to show you one not in the package, but I wanted to show you one how it looks in the package. So it's a long piece. It's usually behind the pattern. 
these, the way these were designed so that if you pretend this is a pattern, this would hang in front of it, and this would hang down below it, and then you would know there's a marker block for it. So this is what they look like. I have all different ones here. This is what they look like when they're cut out. So you would cut the transparencies out. Nice. So that would also help if you're trying to figure out if you're going to make something totally off the wall, not a quilt Correct. or something, like put it on a big pillow or yeah. something like that. Or a, ba could, a bag. A bag. And you, you want to see if, if this would fit on the bag. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That would be perfect be good. for that. Yep. And sometimes when you have to make your blocks two inches bigger, people don't like to le read their instructions. So they'll just like put this on their fabric and cut out two inches bigger, bigger. so they don't have to read their instructions. Nice. So here is a block, and it is two inches bigger. Nice. And then you would have to square this up, and it needs to be six and a half by six and a half. And so you'd have to figure it all out. But if you laid this down on top, now I have to find the way, way, right way to orient. That's so there so we go. Cool. So then you would do that, and what happened to our purple pencil? I, I didn't I steal it. You're trying to steal it. I'm trying, I'm trying to steal our purple pencil. The night's not over yet. No, it's not. So then you would just mark around. And I didn't I didn't bring a rotary cutter and stuff because with happy hour I didn't know. If we yeah, should we should, we be, should be sharp. We should object. be using a <laughs> sharp object. So that is very hour. true. So anyway, you would mark all the way around. And then with your rotary cutter, and you magic, would cut it, poof. cut it away. Poof! It's the exact right size, and it's perfect, and it's not going to be crooked in your quilt. Nice! Now, another one I want to show you mm -hmm. is, I didn't bring this sample with me because it's on loan okay. to another store. Can you believe that? Uh, it's not 35th Ave. Yes, I'm shocked. So this is from Hanging with the Holidays, and it is a Christmas tree that has all these different... Um, words that make up the Christmas tree. So you would have to cut this straight to start and also know where your center is so that all the words would line up and be, be on one center line. So here you can put this down. You would mark it here and here. So you would get a straight cut all the way across and then you could mark right there that that is your center of your, of your block. So then you would do that with all your pieces. So here's Jolly and Christmas, and it makes a Christmas tree and mistletoe and, and the whole thing. So you would, you would cut all these out, sew them together, and then here is the part for the... The pattern also has a witch's hat. Maybe I could hold, I'll hold this up. So now, when you get ready to cut your witch's hat later, all your words are, complete. are completely centered. Nice! And they're straight. Yeah, that's it's like a word's not going like that or like that. So all depends on if you add a Mai Tai on the, you know. Yeah, you, you probably want to do this <laughs> before you start drinking. Yeah, before the happy yeah. hour. That's so nice. anyway, that's awesome. That's what marker blocks are. I like marker blocks. So, and again, we carry them all. And since we're since we are talking about drinks real fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are cool. Yeah. So we talked about Island Breeze. How's it going on our black or light uh, color? Black is Yay, black the is black's the winner. So from the same pattern, look, you can make you can make towels. And you have a large selection of towels here. We do. We have a large selection of tea towels. A towel. And also, here's a towel. I like them. Yeah. And should you not know how to make a drink, we have the rest cocktail recipe. Or you can't remember. <laughs> You drink too much. <laughs> there is a cocktail recipe collection that is here at the store, and this is this is my favorite, the Millionaire's Margarita. Oh. And there's there's twelve in here, but well, I only bought three. You like hurricanes too. I yeah, I remember do. that. Yep. From a New Orleans trip. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not the right color. No, but I, I didn't bring I didn't bring the I do have a hurricane, but I didn't bring it. Yeah. The, all yes. Yes. They'll all fit in one hooping. All depends on the size of the machine. Which, like, what size hoop do you need to use all your patterns, or most all your patterns? Probably um, for, for I use the Bernina, which is a five and a half by nine and a half, but mm -hmm. the other ones have six by ten. 
Okay. So basically the large oval on a Bernina or a six by 10, 10 on another brand. Like the baby locks. Like the baby locks. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. Okay. So are we going to talk about? We are. So, you know, you have all this product, but you always need notions to do it with. Oh, yeah, I guess I should. Oh, yeah. Sorry. She's slacking. She's that. So Angie, of course, recommends a certain stabilizer. So again, when you do your embroidery, you have to have the right products to go with. Even though you have the awesome embroidery design, you need the right products to make it work Correct. on it. So you picked out some things, which right. one is my, one of my favorites. Right. And on that's it. actually the same thing same. in a different brand. Exactly. So there are many types of stabilizer. Basically, you're going to need a tearaway. Um, my favorite is the one that's already sticky. You don't need to use spray. You would just... You can do it two ways. You can pull off the whole thing and hoop it, or you can hoop and score it, but it's already sticky. It holds your block in there perfect. Right. Perfect. It's not moving. It's not moving around, and you're not getting any puckering. So that's why I like this one. And it, you can remove it. Um, and if you're having a little trouble, this one seems to be a little stickier than this one. Mm -hmm. um, just spray the back with rubbing alcohol. Rubbing not alcohol. Not vodka? No, no, not tequila. Oh, okay. oh, rubbing right. alcohol. <laughs> Tell she drinks little tequila. Spray drink back, <laughs> little spray on the back. Little spray on the back, and it's going to peel right back off. Oh, okay. So just I a little. Don't know. douse it. Yeah. But just a little bit. So um, this, is the, this is the stabilizers I like. So. Nice. What are the names of Oh, sorry. <laughs> this one. She's like, it's sticky this stabilizer. One is you didn't know that? The Floriani brand, uh, which is uh, and it's called stick. Perfect Stick. This is the one I use the most, uh, OESD Stable Stick. And I think, do you have a branded one with your 35th Ave? Yeah, I which is your it. sticky. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't find it, but there's also a 35th Ave brand. Mm -hmm. Sticky something. Yeah. I couldn't find it. You might have been out. Yeah. Know. So we had, a we had a class yeah. on Saturday, and we probably sold it all. Yeah. So that is your stabilizer. Next. Um, so you do, so, okay, explain the applique, because you basically, you know, you do it a little bit different than most people do, do. on it. So, so she needs glue sticks so to if, do her applique. If you were doing your applique, let me just pull one of these. Can we go to the other camera? She's, she already got you, Heather. She's like, hey, get to the other camera. Camera two. Camera two. Oh. So. How <laughs> about I cut you off? <laughs> Come on. Chop, chop. So if you were doing this piece right here, it's going to make a little straight line, straight line all the way around. Uh -huh. And it's going to say, hey, put, put a piece of fabric down on right. top of me. So you're going to want to put a piece of fabric down. Now, you could spray mm -hmm. with the adhesive spray. But you don't want to do that around your machine, and then you have to do it somewhere else. But why not use a glue stick, glue stick, and you would just color right in here and put your fabric down. And they are refillable, and it comes with refills. So that is my favorite, favorite thing to do. Now, there's other brands of this, too. You also right. have the Soline line mm -hmm. and... There might be we have Nifty brand. Notions. Nifty little, Notions, yeah. Little, yeah. So, so there's like other that. brands too. I just grabbed. Um, I think they're all made in Japan. I think they're all made in the same place. And they just same put, glue? They just, probably the same glue too. I yeah. think they just put somebody else's name on it. So they're all the same and they're interchangeable. Like I put one of these in my sew line oh, gotcha. holder. So they're interchangeable. So, so you basically glue it, put it there, and then hold your fabric down? Right. And it holds your fabric nice and tight. And so you can do the next stitching because you don't want to be sticking your hands in there right. while you're um, trying to, because I had a lady do that and uh, she uh, pinned both of her fingers into her machine oh, like this. Ow. So we had to call paramedics, Ugh. but they're pretty cute in Florida. So yeah, it was a it bonus. Was, it, it was a like, bonus for the class. It was class. really hot. Not in, for the lady. Was it hot? <laughs> <laughs> was it getting hot in there? <laughs> it was getting hot in there. We had to turn the AC up. Yeah, for. Um, also, to get around, the, to get a nice smooth cut all the way around when you're cutting later, you're going to want to use some some scissors with a slight curve. These are also my favorite. There are other ones that are, look like more traditional scissors where you can put your fingers in. There's larger ones. There's smaller ones. These are my favorite because I just can pick them up, cut, put them back down. And, you know, no matter how they land, I can just grab them and pick them up. So Except the cardboard one is actually openable if you just slide the backing out. That's right. And this yeah. one, too. We'll, we'll open both of them up. So the only bad thing is if you drop these, <laughs> you got to get a new pair. I have probably five pairs because I have dropped them on my tile. Go like this. Like this. 
See the slight curve there? Yeah. Slight curve. Slight curve. The purple, you know. I have purple. Yeah, um, I didn't. <laughs> I only had these, but then these came out, so I now own a purple pair as well. Yeah, you just got to have everything. Okay. On it. Nice. So that's the trick for getting around a close cut. Um, I want to talk about thread. Talk about thread. I talked about thread. So a lot of your machines have built in thread stands. Mm -hmm. um, the Bernina has one that you buy extra and you put it on the back. And then people come to class and they're like, I didn't bring my thread stand. Why didn't you bring your thread stand? You brought everything else. But not the thread but not stand. the thread stand. Well, I didn't want to bring it because it was big and there's multiple pieces. So why not just throw one of these into the back, into your travel trolley, whatever you call it. And um, it's portable. It'll hold your thread because that thread really needs to like to go up and go across and come back down and get all situated before it actually sticks into that design. So thread stands are a must. But if you don't want to bring your big one or your machine does not have a built-in one, I would highly recommend this. And it's $25. Yep. But I think it's worth it. It is. Or and you can just keep it in your machine. Just your keep trolley. it in your trolley yeah. all the time, and then yep. you always have it. Yep. And it's got different connections on there to do different things. Um, I basically use mine for um, this right here. But, but if you have a thread that's not, you know, that doesn't come off right, you need it, you know, horizontal. Right, so it has so, all these little... Yeah different connections and I, I highly recommend it. So that yeah. is the superior thread holder. So have you ever, I've not, I've heard that people do this. It's not one I've done. Have you ever grabbed wash away or cut away and wrong stabilizer? Um, not too much, but, not, but not, people uh, have and they come and they don't know which one they have. Exactly. Right. So these are really cool. They're little, um, Little snap bracelets like right, things like that go bracelet. around your um, stabilizer. Because I have had a customer basically, um, she she thought she had wash away. Her husband handed her a thing of stabilizer, and we thought it was wash away. They thought it was wash away, and then she stitched on it. And ended up being cut away. Yeah, you don't want cut away. And there, her project was totally ruined because she put it on top on it. So this has five labels. It has mm -hmm. a cut away, a tear away, a wash away. Two blank, you could write on it. Uh huh. Um, and then you just roll them around and bend the band. Yep. So if you mark your stabilizer so you know it's a wash away stabilizer, it's perfect. And these are nifty notions, so they're a little less expensive and they're um, a good product. And they come in a really cute package. They do. I love their packaging. I know, their package is really yeah. cute. On it. And of course, your ironing station. Right, but um, yeah, you could put, you could also put your alcohol in this. <laughs> Not drinking. <laughs> the, the alcohol that you're, you that you're Well, you could and just yeah. bring it into your mouth. Yeah. But um, this is for... <laughs> the, you, could put, you could put... You're never going to have me back, are you? I know. <laughs> you thought I was bad. <laughs> so so um, you could put your starch in here, and they're really nice because when it sprays, it just doesn't spray like right into that little area. It does like a whole misting thing. So you could use, put your starch in here. You could also put your rubbing alcohol in here to remove your stabilizer. But I would mark it starch or rubbing and alcohol. And the nice thing is this doesn't have anything on it. So it's less expensive. It's only $8.95. Right. $8 right. But you take a marker and write what right. you need on it. Or use a label maker. Or a label maker, yes. Because I have that label maker. And she has a label maker. Yeah, I She's wanted that for it. Christmas one year. Yeah. And you got it. Woo! <laughs> I'll bring it in one day and make you a Jackie label. Yay! Okay. So, <laughs> so why do you use wool mats okay. on embroidery? After Explain you, the after concept. After you take off your your app your stabilizer, do not press your block with this stabilizer. The sticky why? stuff is never coming off. There Maybe with a lot of alcohol. Oh, with, so, yeah. so always, well, with a lot of alcohol, you don't, don't won't care about that anymore. Just sew it in there, and there'll be a stickly quilt. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, after you remove your stabilizer, you're going to want to press your block. So let's pretend this is a block again. So this is a block. This is the right side of your block. Press it down. Like the right side is into the wool, mm -hmm. and then when you press, you're not crushing all those stitches. And that and that uh, embroidery thread is polyester. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to do from the top because you're going to melt all that. So you're just going to press from the back. Sometimes you'll see a little outline of your design there, and you'll know that um, 
it's, it's done its job. And the nice thing about the wool mats, the heat stays in the mat, so it actually doesn't go through the mat and you lose the heat as you're pressing on it. And this is a nice price on this mat. It's a nifty notions yep. again. Yeah, $36.95 for the mat. So that is nice. And of course you have to have an iron yes, to go to class with. You can go to class with this nice nifty notions mini iron. Um, I do not have this brand, but I love mini irons. This is, wow, that's only $25.95. That's a great deal. That's a good deal on that little I iron. I know. It's similar to the other little iron that I love. Yeah, there was another brand that was very uh -huh. similar. Yeah. So uh, heats quickly, convenient for small piecing, and applique, one-touch steam control. There you nice. go. I like it. I like it, too. Again, you always have to have two of everything because you have to have one in your, your um, class bag right. and the other one so you don't come to class and forget about something. Right. If not... You're at 35th Avenue. I know where you can get another one. Let's pick you. up an extra one. Yeah, just because usually there's one. a class discount. When exactly. You're class. Yeah. All right, we're moving right. back. We're to moving more on. I think she gave me a lot of fabric to I show, know, but you know, we're she's, down. She's she's on vacation. Yeah. And she wanted to make sure we weren't slacking. I know, but we're down to the wire. All right. So, the quilt behind me, that way, Flower Market is the next collection. So this kit is not available yet, but I hear it's coming soon. We don't, think. Don't quote me on that one. We don't know. I think I heard a rumor that that one was yeah. but I do not know. On it. But this is... But a there is a pattern for it available. There is a pattern. Is it on our website? Mm -hmm. This is called a flower market. It's in the beginning. And the first thing is the panel, which... My panel, Vanna. Panel, this panel. is 833 panel. What? Wait! Did you hear oh. something? Oh, I did. <laughs> ding, 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 ding! Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, the panel is $6.66 because it's floral on it. Look at that. I think we need to put some under the camera because yeah, it's kind of so blowing out a little on bit. On it. So, okay, again, flower market and down. the quilt behind it has the panel in it. And then we'll show you the other thing. Look at that. It's on a bicycle. You're okay. wrong way. Oh, <laughs> You're not seeing the bicycle now. That's so now you're seeing the fresh flowers. fresh flowers. Cute. Here's a market flower market basket. I'll get you to the basket. To the oh, hold it. Hold on, people. We'll get to Look the bike. Look at that. Cute. Nice. Locally grown blooms. Nice. Cute. That's nice. You can just make pillow, pillows out of you it. You could. Look at that. I love oh, the that bike. Is. You know, I have a purple bike like that. You have a purple bike. Imagine yeah. that. I know. Imagine that. A purple bike. Look at that. Cute. Cute. So I, I bet you have some coordinating stuff I for that. do. Look at this. This is the coordinating. Ooh. And this is $12.49. And it's on, on sale again. for $9.99. Bikes on there again. Yep. Oh, there's a truck with flowers in the back. Oh, cute. You can add that to your quilt. You could. I, I have one with flowers. Yeah. Yeah. On it. Cute. Today is a fresh start. That's nice. with oh. no mistakes in it yet. From Anna Green Gables. <laughs> did you ever read that book? I did not. Anne was always in trouble. Oh. So it was always a new day with no mistakes yet. Oh, I don't gotcha. know the exact wording, but that's... But that's huh. So anyway, uh, this is Pretty with the Black. <laughs> we had education today, too. Read that series. It's awesome. <laughs> I think that's the first time we've ever had literature quoted on the I know. Okay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'm sorry. Go back to the last one because I switched the camera before they could believe <laughs> Look at that. Okay. I like that one. It's from In the Beginning Fabrics. It is. And it's called Flower Market. Flower Market. That's a bigger print. Here comes the one that's a little bit smaller. I like the bigger print. Yeah, but sometimes when you have little tiny pieces, oh, that's you, you want to have a little, you know, you're doing a little piece and then you get that spot I like that's to just see the black. Big picture. <laughs> but I know, but you, <laughs> so you, what you're saying is you just do pieces quilts with giant blocks. <laughs> right. Right? Okay. I don't think I would ever do a Bargello. I'm just saying. I'm not a Bargello. I, I just, I like the Bargello look, but I don't know, all those pieces. And you wouldn't like Civil War either. They're tiny. I just, yeah, I just can't. The tinier, the better. Nope. Okay, no patience over here. No patience, sorry. And here's a light, nice light version of that. Because you had your blacks. Yep. And now so again, them. everything's on our website, on our um, Facebook Live tab. So again, we always choose just the most popular ones or the ones we like. 
<laughs> on it to show you. Or the ones Karen tells or us. Karen, yeah, or when Karen's like this one. Hi, Karen. How are we doing, Karen? Hopefully we're going to go. Hopefully you're still on there. I think on she's it. probably <laughs> If she's gone. gone. I know. She's, she's like, like, I'm done. I'm out of here. <laughs> you were totally ruining my show. I know. <laughs> so the next one is Roar. I love this. I love Dinosaurs. It. This would be a great kit for... A great quilt for our kids. Uh, and, you know, segue into Lunchbox Quilts has a pattern called uh, it does. Quiltosaurus. It does, yeah. So this would, that be, would be perfect great for great backing or yep. some sashing. Mm -hmm. I think this whole line would work. Yeah, any of the line would yeah. work in whatever colors you want to do it in. Yeah. Nice. So go check that out on the website. So this is Dashwood Studios. It's thirteen seventy nine dollars a yard. Here we have the... Uh, prehistoric okay. scene yeah. with uh, the brontosaurus. This has um, pterodactyls. Is that Heather's favorite? What's your favorite one? My favorite dinosaur? Yeah. The That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Pterodactyl. That's what she likes. Yeah. Look, it has little flowers in it. There's, yeah, they're flowery pterodactyls. <laughs> they are. <laughs> That's why she's like. I think it's funny that they look like they have tattoos. They yeah, do. I know, huh? <laughs> That's pretty. I think it's the same pattern as the first one. Yeah, it's just uh, light. And, oh, here we go again. With the camera. Black background. Yeah. Light background. Mm -hmm. Nice. And this then... one's cute too. This is more uh, um, realistic. It doesn't have yeah. the flowers on it. Okay. And this is next one for um, Karen. for Karen. I think Karen. I know she put this, this in there. Karen I think ordered so. this. This is Aussie Friends. On it by Blink Quilting. Little koalas. And kangaroos. Yep. It's a baby one. And then what's mm -hmm. that bird called from a, that, that Australian that one, bird? I can't remember that right now, but that's, that's an Australian what bird. What is that? I, I think it's a baby koala, but it looks like a polar bear in the tree. It does. We'll have to show you guys. We'll see. Again, <laughs> we're obviously we're not animal. <laughs> we do not know our yeah. animals of Australia. Is that a baby koala? Anyone? Anyone? Karen? Is that a baby koala? On it. And what's that bird? Okay, who knows what the bird is? It's an interactive show. <laughs> yeah, we we just want to know like. this. So let us know. Let us know, Angie, over there. On it. So this is really this pretty. Is, yeah, I like that one. I'm, I'm imagining this must be some type of Australian plant, mm -hmm. probably, that Karen would have known about. But she probably did, yeah. She's making us... Kiwi bird. A kiwi, kiwi bird. bird. Nice. There we go. Okay, did we figure out what this animal is? Is this a baby... Koala? Koala. That's what it looks like. It's like a baby polar bear to me. I know. It's, it's cute. cute. It's cute. It's cute. Oh, look at that one. That's, I like that oh, one. Oh, yeah, there's the grown-up koala in the tree. They, they're in the eucalyptus trees. I do know that. Uh -huh. They eat there eucalyptus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know she is. Oh, there. Oh, oh. It's a wombat? What's a wombat? Is that, that thing that we thought was a polar bear? This one is a wombat? Yeah. Okay. Heather's, you can see her head spinning. You know, she's like, do, 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 do. What is that? What is it? No, I had a feeling she didn't want to say it out loud in case I was wrong. Okay. Wrong. <laughs> so that's a wombat. That's not a baby. <coughs> That's not, not a, a baby, baby koala. koala. It looked like a or a polar bear. Or a polar bear. <laughs> a wombat and a kiwi. Yes, and here here they are with their eucalyptus. And then of course the of course gotta have the kangaroo. Okay, so Aussie Friends by Blank Quilting is twelve eighty nine a yard, and there are free patterns I'm for it. Sneeze. I'm going off camera. I'm gonna sneeze. She's gonna sneeze. And there is a panel that's twelve eighty nine. Okay. No clue. False alarm. Uh, false alarm? Yeah. Did you say cow, 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 think, cow, cow? I think I was allergic to the... The wombat? The, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say kangaroo, but I'm going to go with wombat. <laughs> now I'm in college, it's a wombat. She's allergic to the wombat. <laughs> All right. You never had so much fun. I know, exactly. <laughs> this is awesome. All right. Our next one is called Pink Paradise. By Henry Glass, which is behind me on the right here, on it. It's the flamingos, this. which is. I'm gonna move this. Let me move that, and, and we'll move out of the way so you can see it. Now you can see the flamingos. Woo! That is very cute, on it. 
So does can, it have a panel? It does. Okay. And let's find our panel. Do, do, do. <gasps> right there. The panel. Right there. Go imagine that. All right, so the panel is 826. 826, it's on sale because it is flowers on it. And it's $6.61 for the panel. But you're going to want to buy a bunch of this panel and maybe like give some to your friends. But look at, look at this, this border that runs along this panel. Upside down. Yeah, I know. Haven't <laughs> learned yet. Okay. It's your last one, too. <laughs> but look at that. Oh, look, look at, at that. But, you, but if you just buy the panel, you're only going to get this. So you need to buy like a bunch of panels so you get you that have whole, whole thing. thing. Yeah. And then just make your friends some pillows or something with the. Yeah. Is that panel. a hint? Yeah. Or you should see these other flamingos. It's good. It's going to be good. Yeah. Can't wait. So we do have a kit for this. It's $99.99. We'll put that under there on it. And it is. 57 by 77, and don't forget it's the top and the binding, and not the backing. So you have to buy the backing. Top and then it was cut off. Yeah, looks like binding. It's binding. Okay. And it's 57 by 77. And it's 99 dollars on it, and again there's free patterns for it too, but it's the Pink Paradise by Henry Glass. Ready for this? We're ready. Ooh, cute. This would make cute totes. It would. Look I think you should flamingos. make a shirt out of it. Yeah. We should make um, Jeff a shirt. He would. He would wear it. Yeah. It's got butterflies too, and flowers. The next one. Look at this. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Next one's the flamingos. Just flamingos and the flowers, minus the butterflies. And then you have really a Hawaii shirt. Oh, yeah. What's this? Is this the hibiscus? Is that what that is? Yes. We are, we are just a wealth of You knowledge. are. You are like it's rocking a it. Hibiscus. Super cute. We Little learned about bird, Australia. Bird of Paradise yeah. in here, too. I like Bird, bird of, of Paradise. Paradise. Nice. So, last but not least is the Pink Paradise. It's Henry Glass, 1239, and it's on sale for $9.91. $9.91. $9.91. I was just sounded weird. It is $9.91? It's $9.91. Okay. This one has a little bit more green in it. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be pretty for a shirt. Really nice. Maybe oh. you should do hope. Remember one time I came and did black bag and it was Hawaiian days. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I have pictures of that. Yeah. On it. I should have brought them. Flashback. But we didn't know. But Happy didn't hour. Know. Yeah. On it. So thanks for joining us. Um, first off, don't forget we have the Great Quilting Adventure on March 28th at 5 p.m. So don't forget, everyone in the world changes times except Arizona next um, on Sunday. We're Wait. on the 29th. It starts on the 28th. We're on the 29th. Oh, she gave me the wrong date. So we're at March 29th, which is the Tuesday. It starts on the 28th. And you want to watch all of them because you get free patterns throughout the whole week, but you have to watch them in... Um, sign up for them so you can get your free pattern because you make a whole quilt out of the great quilting adventures patterns. On so it. your day is going to be the 29th. 35th, our day is 35th the 35th Avis. Is the 29th at okay. 5 o'clock our time. So they're all at the same time. So if you're from out of state, it might be a totally different time, but Arizona time, it's 5 o'clock. Don't forget, we are not doing happy hour in two weeks because we will be at the Arizona Quilters Guild Mesa show. So sh stop by and see us there. On it, Bill's Black Bag is coming up the 18th and 19th, and Sew and Share is March 27th. We have a lot going on, which is awesome. And I want to thank Angie. Oh, well, thanks for having from me. From Lunchbox thanks. Quilts for joining us. It was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, yeah. And Karen will be back in four weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she'll be back next week, well, actually. Right, but, but, but you're going to skip one. You're going to skip one. Well, yeah, so, so you're right. So then another two weeks. So. You're like, oh, so. Karen might be back in a month. But hey, so we're Karen good. Karen will be back for the next <laughs> time you do happy hour. Which, which she'll be good for. four weeks. Yeah. <laughs> so. But she'll be here for the great quilty adventure, of course. Yeah, she'll be back. Our... our um, yeah. In her, she's our superstar. Yeah. She's our YouTube superstar. Yeah, our Facebook superstar. Yes, and don't forget to like us on Facebook. Join our Facebook because we have some great happy hours coming. Not happy hours. 
great Facebook Lives coming up that we might pop in during your lunch hour. You never know. And you might be able to watch us during your lunch hour, or we might have some fun things coming up. That's a hint. But you have to like us to watch that. So, And one other thing, if you spend over $100 in shipping, are we doing that? It's free shipping, but yeah, it is. I'm just saying say it. Oh, we're getting a I know, we're getting at that because we need a code. So we might get charge you shipping, but we'll refund the shipping if you spend over $100 on the but website. she's the one that makes the decision. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Audit. So, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> I'm not coming back. I know. <laughs> this was my second time. I did the first one. You, you did. Guys. You I did, did the, the very one. first one. Yeah. See, and it's been, what, a year now? At least a year. Has it been a year? It's been a We've long been doing time. this for a year? Yeah. Oh, yeah, year, I think it was before, before COVID. Wow, yeah. awesome. Well, I guess it's working because we're still doing it and we're still here and we're having fun. So thank you for joining us for happy hour. And this is Jackie out. Angie out. Bye.